The marble caves in Chile are one of the most far-off natural wonders of the world. The cathedral, the chapel, and the cave are the three main attractions. They're a group of black and white caverns, columns, and tunnels made of marble. Waves have been shaping them over thousands of years, and they're still going strong. The caves and turquoise water waves team up to make a sweet light show. When summer starts, an ordinary-looking river in Colombia transforms into a liquid rainbow. Caño Cristales, also known as the most beautiful river in the world, sparkles in five colors – red, black, green, blue, and yellow. It only looks like this for six months a year because of the special underwater plant that makes all those colors. It needs the perfect amount of sunshine and water to work its magic. The river in Dakhi, India is a kayaker's dream. It's emerald and so transparent, you can see all the way to the bottom. Bright pebbles, stones, and fish, the colorful fishing boats seem to be floating on glass. The only sounds you can hear are the swirling of the river and the occasional bird flying past. One of the cleanest villages in the world isn't far from the Emerald River. It has three street cleaners who work every day, even in heavy rain. The locals plant flowers and bushes all over the village, and cars aren't allowed. The parking fee for tourists is used to pay for more street cleaning. The cost of littering? A fine or even jail. Blue Lake in New Zealand is one of the world's clearest lakes. It's basically like looking at distilled water. You can even see blue-violet shades in it, which is super rare. The water comes from its neighbor, an icy glacier lake. The local Maori people don't let you swim there. You can't even dip your toes in. They believe the lake has special powers. Luskintyre Beach is an endless stretch of white sand dunes and perfect blue water. But don't let the tropical vibe fool you. It's in Scotland. That's why it only looks nice in May and June. In December, the place only gets an hour of sunshine per day, so it looks pretty bleak. Five-hour Lake in China's Jusigao Valley changes from yellow to emerald green, dark jade to light turquoise, and sometimes even coral color, which I didn't even know existed. It never freezes thanks to underwater hot springs and never dries up like some of its neighbors. The local legend is that it's made up of pieces of a mirror that fell from the sky. The surrounding valley has some of those classic hills with above-ground caves in them, spectacular waterfalls, around 140 different birds, and a couple of giant pandas and other endangered plants and animals. The Southern Ocean near Antarctica has the cleanest air in the world. It's so clear, scientists could barely find any DNA in it to analyze, just some random marine bacteria. Antarctica itself is 99% ice and has mind-blowing blue glaciers, active volcanoes, and the best views of crispy clean snow anywhere in the world. Mount Haleakala in Hawaii is one of the quietest places in the world. Rangers there often measure exactly zero sound. Its name in Hawaiian means House of the Sun. It was formed thanks to a one-million-year-old volcano. Lava built up over the years and grew into a mountain. It has its own climate and weather that's almost impossible to predict. Now, it takes almost a week by ship to travel from South Africa to the world's most isolated settlement, Edinburgh of the Seven Seas. Great name alert. You need special local government permission to visit. The roughly 300 locals all treat each other as family, grow their own food, and keep their island impeccably clean. Daintree Forest in Australia is the oldest rainforest in the world. It's been around for over 100 million years, and it's home to 12,000 types of insects and about 90% of Australia's butterfly and bat population. It's also home to about 3,000 different kinds of plants. The Bazarudu Archipelago in the Indian Ocean has crystal white sands and unspoiled coral reefs and almost no tourists. It's an official marine reserve so commercial fishing is off-limits. You can still see fishermen in traditional old boats, though. That's why the corals are still in perfect condition. Bazaruto is also home to some of the last remaining sea cows. A mysterious emerald bamboo grove is located a short train ride away from Kyoto. It's like a portal into another universe. 
The creaking and rustling sounds make it one of the top 100 soundscapes in Japan. Local artists make baskets, coasters, and chopstick rests all out of bamboo. The Great Bear Rainforest in British Columbia is famous for its 1,000-year-old cedars, mossy waterfalls, water the color of granite, and crystal-clear streams. It's home to the rare cream-colored Kermode bear, also known as spirit bear. Add some Sitka deer, coastal gray wolves, cougars, mountain goats, orcas, salmon, sea lions, sea otters, humpback whales… um, you get the picture. The secret of the Candy Floss Pink Sand Beach in Barbuda is that it's made of crushed corals with tiny single-celled red things living beneath. You can see the famous pink shade when the waves are strong enough. This place doesn't have any public facilities, so it's much less crowded than other Caribbean islands, and that's why it's so clean. Now, it took thousands of years to form the Piccaninny Ponds in Australia. Underground water crept slowly up to the surface through all that limestone. It formed a large underwater cavern with amazing white walls. You need a special permit to dive there, but it's definitely worth it. Lapland in Finland has some of the cleanest air in the world. It also has those spectacular northern lights, snow-smothered trees, and endless white landscapes. The first humans arrived here around 7,000 years ago. They were mostly reindeer herders, and now there are more reindeer than there are people. And reindeer don't exactly pollute. The Plevisa Lakes National Park is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Croatia. It has 16 clear and colorful lakes, all connected by waterfalls. Deer, bears, wolves, boars, and rare birds roam around enjoying the unspoiled nature. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so they gotta keep it clean. 60 million years ago, a big and angry volcano woke up in present-day Northern Ireland. It spat out a bunch of molten basalt, a special type of lava. It cooled and turned into 40,000 interlocking stepping stones leading down to the sea. Local legend says they're so perfectly shaped because they were made by an Irish giant. He had to build a road into the sea to get to his foe in Scotland. Badabi Surt in northern Iran has some unique travertine terraces, basically an epic staircase. It took thousands of years to form. Two different mineral hot springs flow downhill, leaving behind a jelly-like goo. It shaped the slope into a staircase when the water cooled. And the springs are still active. One has healing properties, the other shoots out dust that turns the water orange. When the sun comes out, it turns everything red, orange, and yellow. Bolivia's salty Laguna Colorada is a real magnet for worldly photographers. It gets its crimson red color from algae and rich minerals in the water. It's surrounded by high altitude desert plain, volcanoes, boiling mud, drifting snow, and weirdly shaped rocks. It's home to three of the world's six species of flamingo that come here for their fill of plankton. Flamingos are actually born white, but turn pink because of all that red algae. The Enchanted River is one of the most pristine, hidden, natural gems of the Philippines. It's tucked in behind some mountains, and no one really knows where the water comes from. There are loads of colorful fish swimming around, but where do they come from? Where do they go? Nobody knows. The river looks shallow, but no one's ever managed to measure how deep it is. Only a few thrill-seeking tourists visit this mysterious river to dive into its caves. Pangong Lake in the Himalayas is the world's highest saltwater lake. It has no aquatic life because of its saltiness, but it's a perfect place for bird watching. When it's a little warmer, the lake's constantly changing colors between blue, green, and even red. In the winter, it's pretty much ice.